Bop Squad. Boom! It is 1033, and I am finally working on my last video of the evening. This was sent in by Jacob. There, I just crossed Jacob's name off of my notes. And uh, thank you very much, Jacob, for sending in some money and suggesting we listen to some Chief Keef. What? It's almost like you sent in a few th songs in a row, and we are on one of... We're in a streak of them. Uh, this is Love No Thotties, the official video shot by AZ or AZ Productions. AZ, I think it is. Um, 3 minutes 44 seconds. Came out in 2013, so this would have been not so long after his debut. Uh, this is track number three on The Leak, Volume 2. And let's see, Genius has some things to say about this. Love No Thotties is a song by Chief Keef that was leaked on July 11th of 2013. Uh, it is a song where Keef explains how he lives a lavish lifestyle and how thoughts want to live the same lifestyle however they just want Keefe's money and not for him uh, and are and they don't want him for who he is uh, thought is a slang term that is a synonym of the slang word slag word ho and means a person of the female gender that desires only money and will have sex to gain money. Thought originated from Chicago, Illinois in early 2010, and the term is still used throughout rap today. Rappers like Blueface have used the same term, like in his song, Fatiana, <laughs> where he describes the same way Keith describes a thought, uh, also describes a thought. Uh, for some reason, I wanted to pronounce thought as Thor because it, the T kind of looked like an R with the quote. Uh, I'm just not so bright. This was produced by Dot Midori and Trap Blanco Beats. Trap Blanco, probably. Uh, and it is labeled as Rap Chicago Trill. I always do that. Chicago Drill, Trap, and Drill. Uh, let's check it out. From 2013, Love No Thotties from Chief Keef. 3 minutes 44 seconds. And I have lyrics, but since this is a video, I probably won't bring them over. Hang up on me one more time. See what happens. Chicago, Sharae. Send a hundred dollars on all that mess, show you. What you want to drink, I know you hate being sober. And I low all these never say shit, so I'm cruising in my Rory with my lowly loafers. Bitch, I'm a rock of fire, I'm a totally tall too. Wish a nigga war, try to screw me over. Now I got blood on my lowly loafers. Thousand dollar bus, cause I'm a rich nigga. Nina like a boss, a bitch, the way she is, nigga. Shoes cost a bunch of shit, look at my kicks, nigga. Could've bought an ass for my bitch, nigga. I'm off this activist, it got me leaning over. I pull a full pepper and let some peach soda. Your boyfriend, I off, I'm in Nina Blower. Okay, I am absolutely actually loving this song because of his style of. The, just the whole way he's approaching it, his performance of it, it's kind of... It, he is effectively getting across the idea that he just does not care about all these fake people. And I, I won't say women, because it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman that, that is being fake. But he ju does not give a shit and that is 100% the correct attitude to have because if some it, the, 
Blah, 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 blah. The, the little intro in the beginning where he's talking to that woman and he's like, you're drunk, you're drunk. And, why, and she says, why do you act like you know me or something? Um, and, and it's just, you can tell it's f- fake on her part. Like, she is trying to manipulate him into feeling a desire to be with her because she's rejecting him sort of like she's not she's not even just being as nice as you would be to a normal person she's acting like i'm the one in control of this situation where you're the one who has all the money success fame and talent but i'm the one that you want to sleep with so i'm gonna act like i'm in charge uh nah, fuck off um no no and, and his response to it is just perfect. These bitches act local and think global. They basic. Or as I like to call them, elemental creatures. <laughs> that is a joke that my friends and I came up with a while ago. <laughs> Instead of basic, elemental. Um, never seen a hundred thousand, well let me show you. Yeah, exactly. What do you want to drink? I know you, you hate being sober. These, all I know is these guys hate Chief Sosa. I'm cruising in my Rari with my Louis loafers. Bitch, I'm a Rastafari. I'm a Thule toter. So, it's so good. He just is like, this is just me, and I'm just going to do my thing. And yep, I got money. I got talent. I got everything. And you really add nothing to this kind of what it's like i also thought it was cool that he mentioned rastafari because i'm still reading listening to that uh can't stop won't stop book by jeff chang and it is incredible how much i mean hip-hop would not exist and rap would not exist without what happened in jamaica in like the 60s and then a lot of those people ended up moving to the bronx and new york and bringing some of their politics and their message and their music with them and it turned into something completely different now the book is talking about um the street gangs of the time like the savage skulls and uh, a couple others man super fascinating stuff talked about tupac's mom uh and the black panther movement Uh, it's it really is just a fantastic book and uh, they are now up to 1973, <laughs> when uh, I think it was uh, it was one of the groups I forgot the name. I thought it was the Ghetto Boys, but there's another band called a group called the Ghetto Boys from the 80s or 90s that is not this group. Um, but they released their first, what would be the first hip hop album in 1973, on a on a record label that had classically made like latin music uh just absolutely crazy just such such cool stuff all how this stuff came together also dub dub music um was created because they figured out in the early days that they could record on one side with lyrics and then on the b side they could just print the music with no lyrics and then that would allow other people to use that music to rap over, sing over, whatever. But most importantly, and financially, the reason was it was cheaper for the record company to put the music without the lyrics on the other side instead of coming up with a whole nother thing of songs to put on the other side. So it was like a good cost-effective way of cutting their costs. So so crazy interesting. So that's why you see old B-sides that have just instrumental and that's it it's because it saved money but then people could use those tracks to make more music it's fascinating uh let's keep going i've completely lost track of the song we're going to back up a little bit Now I got blood on my lower loafers. Oh, I 
thousand dollar bus, cause I'm a rich nigga. Nina like a boss, a bitch, the way she is, nigga. Shoes cost a bunch of shit, look at my kicks, nigga. <laughs> Could've bought an ass for my bitch, nigga. I'm off this activist, it got me leaning over. I pull a full prevalence and feet shoulder. Yo yeah, I think I stopped here before, and I actually stopped because he talks about peach soda, and ugh, I don't like peach. Cause I like you. All the reason I text you or why I Skype you. I just wanna fuck on you. I don't wanna wipe you. But you gotta brush your teeth and do what I say do. <laughs> Bitch, can you hear me? Keep your pussy in park, no 360. Never say he getting guap, no he didn't. I'm almighty so it's complete mission. I'm the way around you. Off this earth, I can't come back down to Maybe this is song I just thought I'd tell you I would say you all, but I don't want to mail you I don't want to smell you Cause I'ma cut you off quicker than I met you I'ma swipe your name up on my schedule And if I smoke this blunt, girl, I'm gonna forget you I ain't even planned though I make bitches fly like Peter Pan do That's what I just asked you He's an alcoholic, I ain't got no time for you If you off the molly If I book your flight, it's you gonna top me Don't worry, I'll be Okay, you got me I don't love no dotties Dotties, dotties Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, young men. Young men. I mean, I say that because sometimes you just want to have sex. Um, a good song. I, I think, for what it is, I it would be really easy to have that be an incredibly, incredibly offensive song, and I could absolutely understand why some people would think it was offensive. And yet, I think it's pro produced with a definite sense of humor and he's not just giving the thoughts a hard time, he's, he's given himself a hard time too because he talks about, like, I, I ain't in love with no thoughties, but he's still going to spend a ton of money on this woman, he's still going to fly her out to just have sex and like yeah crazy just crazy good good song i that's a good song i liked it i don't know i don't know what you guys think uh i assume since you sent it to me somebody likes it at least who's oh i ruined the piece of paper this was not simon this was no i i messed it up jacob that's right jacob uh cool stuff and yeah, go check out, uh, I posted yesterday a video about Can't Stop, Won't Stop, if you didn't see that. Oh my god, it's such a good book. It's so incredibly interesting. It, it talks about the history of hip-hop, uh, the hip-hop generation. It talks about how, and this was really something interesting to see in that book, uh, or to hear in that book, was um, they mentioned how the gang members back in the late 60s, 70s, um, and in the 70s, that every five years it was a completely new group of people because all the people that were there before died, joined the army, went away, moved, whatever, got killed. And uh, so every five years, and there was no long-term vision that stuck because nobody lived long enough or stayed long enough or could maintain power long enough to have an influence over more than just a small group of people. And, and it still goes on, right? Like, if you keep people down, they will act out in a way that they think they need to in order to 
get what they need to survive. And that way is going to be, most importantly, that way is going to result is a, in a violent, short lifespan. And you don't ever get generational knowledge. You get every five years knowledge. And that's just not enough to plan for the future because you have no future. It's so interesting. It's such a good book. I'm loving it. Uh, there you go. Thanks again, Pop Squad. Check it out. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.